Hi, welcome to my channel, Promising Creations. In this channel, we do upload videos on pattern drafting, how to cut and how to sew, both male and female dress. Those that are subscribing to my channel, I thank you all. I appreciate your concern. And those that are new to my channel, you are highly welcome. The channel is for everyone. Comment, share, and like. And also, I promise you that every video that I upload will add a knowledge to you. And also, those that have been subscribing to my channel, I appreciate you. And for a long, for a while now, I've not uploaded be because of the circumstances beyond my control. Giving birth and putting taking a care of a baby. And I promise from Hellsport, I'll be uploading videos and I will you all gain from what I'm going to teach. For today's tutorial, I'm going to teach us how to cut a baby's trouser, a tailor trouser. How to cut their trouser and how to go about it that when they wear it, they will be comfortable. So babies, you don't sew any help for them. Because when you try to sew, it will make them uncomfortable. Now. I'm going to teach us how to cut their trouser. Today video, we are going to start with the pattern paper, a pen for drawing, scissors for cutting, and a small pattern master for ruling. Now, for a tender trouser, for a baby trouser that is below within one month, zero months to seven or six months. We are going to start by this pattern paper. We are going to divide it into two equal parts. For the front side of the trouser and the back side of the trouser, we are going to divide it into two equal parts. Sorry, pant cutting. Now I'm going to share the paper into two equal parts. So that when we draft the front side, we are also going to draft the back side. We are going to use this one for the front side of the trouser because in 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 in, a, in the structure of cutting a pant, you first you will first of all cut the front parts of the pant before cutting the back side of the pant. Now we are going to fold our uh, paper into two. Why I'm folding is that the tailor, the waist is going to be rubber, uh, elastic. You don't cut, you don't sew fitted or belt hook for babies. No, you sew, you sew it to be elastic. Now we are going to measure the round butt. No, you just you cut something that will accommodate the diapers. Understand? You don't measure the round butt of the baby. But you consider measuring everything, accommodating the diapers of the baby. Now, the, the round butt of the baby is... is 20 inches. But I'm going to make it 20 inches divided by 4 is 5. I'm going to add extra 1 inch to that 5 inches because of the die part. Now I'm going to measure the 6 inches here. Then half inch for ease allowance is going to be 6.5. I'm going to measure 6.5. Now the folding of the paper accommodates the measurement I consider the diapers and everything that is, is allowance that I consider before cut, uh, folding the paper. Now I'm going to draw. I'm going to draft our starting point. Also, they are not going to measure their towel, their seat, their brush and the rest. Now, I measured for the baby, consider for the baby was wearing diaper, I measured everything and I came up with 7 inches for the crush. That is 7 inches 
so that it will accommodate the diaper. But before that, since it's going to have a, an elastic, you also make available the inches, the fabric, available fabric for folding the elastic. Now, I'm going to keep three inches upward for folding the elastic. You press three inches upward to fold the elastic. Then the length of the pants is 13 inches. This is the 13 inches here. This is the 13 inches here. Then plus 2 inches for hemming allowance. Because I use hemming gum to hem it so that it will also look neat. Now, this is the starting point. Let me indicate it so that we will know what we are doing. This is the starting point. This is the starting point. This is the starting point here. Then, allowance for elastic. Allowance for elastic, then this is the pant length, and this is the hemming, hemming allowance too. You see? Starting point here, allowance for elastic, pant length, Hemming allowance. Now, our measurement is going to start from the allowance for elastic. That's where our measurement will start. Now, the for the seat of the baby, I measured 12 inches divided by 2. We give us 6. It was six inches. Then the tie, this is the crush. Then the tie of the baby. I, I measured six, five inches plus one inch for accommodating the diapers plus half inch for each allowance in all is 6.5 inches. Then, let just swoop. You can use your bare hand and do this. It's okay. This is a mistake. Please don't mind this. It's a mistake. If you can use your bare hand to get the seat, the cover of the seat is okay. Now for the for the round, I measured three point. I measured seven divided by two is three point five. Then plus half inch is allowance in all should be four. Then I connect from here. Then I connect it this way. Measure four inches. I 
connect it. The second line is a mistake. Please don't mind the second line is a mistake. Sorry for that. Now I'm going to cut. This is the starting point. This is the allowance for elastic because for Tedlia, for baby's dress, you don't put bed hook. You use elastic for babies zero months to eight or nine months. You use elastic. You don't even use rope. You don't use strap for it. You use elastic for it. Then this is the pant length and this is the hemming allowance. Now I'm going to cut. Now we are going to the bathroom. That's for the front pattern. This is the front pattern. This is for the front pattern. Now we are going to cut the back pattern. Now these are pattern paper for the back pattern. You also fold in this way. Place it against the back pattern. You don't give a space at the starting point, no. You cut it the same. You place it together. Then use your pin to save guide it. Now, we are going to add one inch throughout. That's the only difference. We are going to add one inch from the starting point. We are going to add one one inch to the hemming part. We also follow it that way that. At the seat also, you add one inch. At the seat, you add one inch at the seat also. Then, downwards, you add one one inch. Can use the connect then this way. <laughs> connect it this way. That's the only thing for the back side. Place and add one one inch throughout. Now you cut. Please do watch the video to the end. If there is anything you do not understand or there is any correction, um, I will attend to you. Just drop your comment your complaint at the description box below i will answer all just follow it the way i just draft it now it's a very simple one look at this is the this is the back side this is the front side
this is the back front side this is the back this is the front side this is the back side thank you for watching if there is any complaint please do drop it at the description box below please do subscribe to our channel share the video comment share and like thank you and god bless you bye